Have you heard that since the 1970s, the breeding population of South Georgia's wandering albatrosses has declined catastrophically due to bycatch in longline fisheries? To protect these iconic animals, we need to identify the bycatch hotspots and the nations fishing in those areas. During the Seabird Sentinels project, scientists fitted wandering albatrosses with loggers that both recorded the birds' GPS positions and detected radar transmissions from nearby vessels. These data were matched with positions of individual fishing vessels, identified by Global Fishing Watch, which uses the Automatic Identification System, AIS, to track their movements. Tracking wandering albatrosses of different sex and ages, including immature breeding and non-breeding adults, showed the varying extents to which the birds overlapped with different fleets across their range. They found that albatrosses, particularly breeding adults during incubation and in mid to late chick rearing, were at the highest risk of interacting with a vessel at the Patagonian Shelf and Subtropical Convergence. Researchers analysed the tracks of 251 birds, of which 54.6% involved encounters and 42.6% showed close attendance at fishing vessels including trawlers, pelagic longliners, which fish for tuna and swordfish, demersal longliners, which fish on the sea floor, squid jiggers and pole and line. These vessels were flagged to multiple fishing nations. Previous studies at wider scales have shown that wandering albatrosses from South Georgia overlapped particularly with Taiwanese and Japanese pelagic longline vessels. However, this new finer scale study found the greatest overlap was with Korean vessels and demersal longliners from various nations. All these results highlight how important it is to engage with multiple stakeholders, including fisheries managers, operators and crew to safeguard the future of these iconic seabirds. This is part of an animation series produced in a collaboration by British Antarctic Survey and BirdLife International, funded by the Darwin Plus Scheme and animated by Hannah Whitman.